You'll notice that we just keep going, not too fast. I'm not going to fire you. (laughs) Thank you. Let me move it so I can get to it. There we go. All right, and you'll notice that he came right back to the beginning. So that shows that shows that the Mobius strip actually only has one side to it. Right? If you were a manufacturer and you had a belt that you wanted to wear evenly, you could do this to it, it would wear the same on both sides, uh, what looks like both sides, because it's actually one side. All right, the next thing we're going to do is to take this and cut it in half lengthways. So I'm going to let you do that. Oh, all right. Just yeah, snip it right in there and then start, the head, head start cutting. And let's see what happens when we cut the Mobius strip in half. All right, what would you expect to happen? It would look like a mobile uh, strip. All right. Somewhat half two strips. Yeah. Okay. Would expect okay. Two strips. All right. And she finishes. Oh. What do we have? We now have one wow. long strip, but it has two turns in it mm-hmm. instead of one. Okay. All right. This is probably the most famous um, topological trick that there is. What I want to do is show you some more. All right. My next trick is to make a quarter go through a hole the size of a die. So I need to do another volunteer. <laughs> well, maybe I can do it. You can do it. Well, I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what I, what I need for you to do is just stand there and hold your hands out like okay. this and catch the quarter. Do that? All right. A hole the size of a dime, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the quarter here. Then I'm changing the configuration of the hole by bending the card 
And there it goes. Can we do it for the camera? Okay. Sure. What's more of the webinar? All right. All right. So what happens is it starts out as a circle, and then by bending it, the hole becomes an ellipse, and the major axis oh, yes. is okay. the diameter of the quarter, so it will... Yeah, remember Kepler's three laws. <laughs> All right, um, now I'm going to show you something having to do with moon. So, yeah. you got so I have two paper clips and a dollar bill. This is the point at which sometimes I borrow a dollar bill and I can make <laughs> money on this thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two paper clips that are not connected to each other. I'm going to put them on the dollar bill where they're still separate, and then, like magic, they'll be connected. Okay. So what we're going to do is to make the dollar bill, put it in an S shape, okay. and we put one paper clip to form a loop, and then another paper clip to form a second loop, so it is still oh, S-shaped, so that it is S-shaped and we have a paper clip on each okay, side. So here's a paper clip, and there is a paper clip. All right. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to ask you just to pull the two ends of the dollar bill really quickly. I hope I can do it. Right. Just pull it quickly. Whoa! Okay, now pick up the paper clip. Here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. oh, okay, here we go. And then look. Wow. They are connected. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is called transfer of curve. Uh -huh. The curve in the dollar bill transferred to the curve of the paper, paper clip. Hmm. Question? You have to try that. Yeah, I don't know if it works oh, with yeah. human bodies. I'd like to curve transfer from the human body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you these 3x5 cards that I have cut, and okay, these were cut out of one 3x5 card. For real? For real. Oh, the tan one, the light tan mm -hmm. one? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we can't read that. Here's a one three by five card, which is two dimensional, makes something that is three dimensional. Hello. Hey, hi. Come on, Greg. Close up, though. Hmm. How did she do that? Yeah. All right, let's see how that goes. Oh, yeah. That doesn't, yeah, the cutouts don't seem to match the shape that it's <laughs> flopping up and down. It's really huh. stupid. Unless something got glued or something. Or oh, twisted. Or oh, twisted. Oh, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's twisted. As a demonstration, I'm actually going to okay. use a three by five card with lines on it. Those three by five cards do not have lines. So what I'm going to do first is right in the center of the 3 by 5 card, I'm going to cut just about halfway through. Mm, okay. okay. And then turn the card around, and about a third of the way in, I'm going to cut halfway through, then go to the other end, and cut halfway through. Okay. And so when you look at it, it looks like a great big W. Okay. All right. Now let's take this and twist it 
half a turn. Okay. Okay. So that it looks like this. Okay, can you do the twisting in front of the camera okay, again? Sure. Okay, so this is what the here, heavy is? Here it is with the, the, mm -hmm. the lines on it, and then I twist this half a turn, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. And so it ends up like this, mm -hmm. okay? So in this case, you would actually see lines here and mm -hmm. here. I glued them on the paper so that they would not come untwisted, mm -hmm. and they would look like that. Here is one that's glued on the card. Can they um, share yeah. that one? Yeah, so with the lines you see, you're looking halfway at the front and halfway that at the back. back. That is okay. correct. Okay. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah, those are tricks in the, that you can only do in a bar before you get to the <laughs> We need some dexterity and a little bit of brain power. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put you all to work. I want each of you to get six toothpicks. I'm going to give you some. Can we keep these cards? Yes, I am. All right. Your challenge is to place those toothpicks so that every toothpick is touching every other toothpick. Every toothpick is touching every other toothpick. Even at a point. Even and not at a point. And not at a point. That's the only <laughs> sorry. So one two six has to touch only one. One two six has to touch the other five. Yeah, every. But not at a point. But not, you know, you can't put them all at a point. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I'm just glad I'm the camera woman. <laughs> you think outside the box, so I'm going to do At the same time, not as Can they be broken? <laughs> no, you cannot break them. <laughs> I'm sure somebody is asked that. How can they all be touching and not at a point? Mm 
question came up. This would be the first approximation here. Where is it? There. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you can't. But you can't really be sure that the. But all the. But all the. Yeah, if they really. Yeah. But that's not the solution yet. It's just the. All right. Are you ready for the uh, solution? Yes. Yeah, actually, you're very close. Oh, here. yeah. All right. If you take three mm -hmm. and three. Oh, I see. Okay. Then, that you're one then you're yeah. then you're sure the right track. that yeah. every one yeah. is touching all of the other five. Okay. That's right, and but if you have like five coming together at a point, you don't know if the outside ones are touching the um one totally inside. That's right, we haven't signed any waivers. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put you all to work again. Okay. Uh, students in my class find out fairly quickly that they have to work. <laughs> so, they have to work? I say you have to work in math class. Isn't that class. terrible? Mm -hmm. There's a three by five card for you and a pair of scissors. Okay. All right, your challenge is to cut a hole in this three by five card big enough to put your body through. 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 Then when my whole body, as long as the thing goes around my body. No, no, no it, it body has to be a hole. Oh, I have, so there does have to be something that has to be connected, otherwise it would not be a hole. Let's pick the thinnest person. Let's pick the thinnest person. Actually, I did this once, and a young man, he was a college student, and he must have been this wide and about six feet. Oh, six oh, six oh, six oh, 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 a big enough easy body. All right. I wouldn't need it because it's cold at first or something. If you need another card, I can play it. <laughs> so it's I okay bet, to bet, try it. It's okay to try it. Not it's okay. Not even only is it okay, it is okay. Oh, screensaver went on. Just on my computer here. Because even on that, it's small mode. Just kept cutting and cutting until you make it big enough. I don't know if I should hold it. You keep going with the inside. Okay. I have an idea. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, okay. Do you need another card? No, no. It has to be a hole. So it has to be connected. Oh, okay. Trying to get a little closer. Oh, I'm still off the <laughs> Actually, I've seen this done two different ways. Yeah. But the thing is, though, if you keep this frame, though, you still buy some cake of that frame. Oh, but we're making the frame longer. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it something to do with it. Oh, and we can't do the whole body. No. Yeah, my problem is if I keep this, <laughs> if I keep this intact, no matter what I do at the middle. Oh, but what if your body goes through all this stuff in the middle but not this thing? That's okay. But that part just like stays in the ear. <laughs> Because as long as this stays together, 
that he, 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 yeah, he's going with that idea with the the spiral thing or something. Let's see, your body can't do it. Uh, I, can't wait for him. <laughs> I know, I don't even want to cut my car. Although he's standing to get another, he may get another car. Thank I'm you. not sure your body is going to be able to go through there. Well, so if you were close to a black hole, he could be. Oh, yeah. Kind of like on this thing, now it's going to go this way and this way. Oh, oh, I have the yeah, okay. <laughs> But I wonder if he has like folded and so I think if I go this way and this way and this way and this way you might have been wide but then maybe need to be folded like like more than one. Yeah I'll do this experiment you try it with but but I think I think if if you don't think it's gonna work over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's work. Work. But I'll just yeah. see but what happens on this and then we can modify our design. Or something. Uh. <laughs> She's laughing. Yeah. Teachers aren't supposed to laugh. Oh, really? I laugh with them. Oh, okay, you're laughing with them. <laughs> because if you stick with that, the car with the family the way it was, you just, your body will never get used to that rest. You know? Mm -hmm. so we have to do that. It's sort of like a zigzag thing. Well, I know I'm scared to open it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but otherwise, maybe you folding it more than once would do it or something. But um, <laughs> I'm thinking since this thing is on twisting, wacky. What was the name of talk? Wacky, twisted. <laughs> Twisted. It's wacky. Wicked. Oh, oh, wicked. Wicked. Twisted. Wacky. I thought it was oh, wicked. Did I? No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> So it's wacky and twisted, so you know it's got to be wacky or twisted. <laughs> do college students like doing this or only more young people? <laughs> do you enjoy doing this? Um, <laughs> I, I think so the most. I don't know if it's going to be successful, so I, mm -hmm. I but it is, it is, I, I know you have to go with not your normal thinking. Well, the nice thing is that working in topology, it makes you think oh, yeah. about right. things from a totally different direction. Mm -hmm. So opening it up, no, I don't have an opening, but see if you pull it differently, somehow maybe, only if I made them fat enough. If, maybe you can cut some Yeah, of them. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have made it a little bit better. There, that made a bigger hole. Oh, man. Yeah, so I was trying to really cut it close to the edge, but it, I hope I made them fat enough that I can make this cut in the middle. Oh. Yeah. It, oh, yeah, it's getting bigger. Oh, please don't say you, Tim. Okay. <laughs> oh, neat. That's good. Yeah, so. <laughs> Okay, so the center section. So maybe she would have cut it first. Oh, but, but certain ones you don't cut because some you don't get cut. So you yeah, can't. See, look at it. It is getting wider now. See, looky. Yeah. Wow, there you so go. You can't cut it all the way to the middle. You Correct. Have to, and then once yeah. you start opening it so that it can be bigger things, yeah, you have to cut it. Oh, this is a setup. You don't need it. No, I did it. <laughs> No, I did it, but my brain was thinking it can't. First, I was thinking that spiral started, thing, started and then I said, oh, but that rectangle will be too small for your body. Well, this lady is a math instructor, right? Yes. <laughs> no, that had nothing to do with this. Uh, it's it's not it's not I do try to be creative or think outside the box. Look how big that is. Yeah. Well, Alice, well, well, has gotten it, and I think well, she's well, very well, careful. Well, she well, she well, she well, she's very well, careful. You get extra credit for this. Wow. So. Yeah, yeah, really. I built on previous knowledge. I can show you how this one is doing. I like using a card that has lines on it because it's coming out. a cutting die. All right, and so the first cut 
needs to be along the fold. And you cut and you go very close to that outside edge, but not all the way, mm -hmm. so that it looks like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the next cut, you're right, you turn it and cut in the opposite direction, but not all the way through, so that it looks like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Then continue cutting in that manner all the way across the card. With a little practice, you can make your little pieces of card very small yeah, because you're going to really have a huge hole. So just continue in this zigzag manner. I'm always afraid I will cut all the way through. Yes, I cheated. I use the line yeah. card. So that makes it nice. Makes it for kids too. Cut kind on of a line. Because otherwise yeah. they would keep yeah. um, making it so that they would lose one of these things and then it would, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and then it's unrecognizable that it started out as a rectangle. And make sure that I'm so right. Sure now. All right, and you have to make sure that your last cut begins at the fold and goes up. Okay. All right, so that when you open the card up, and sometimes this is the hard part, they're little bitty pieces. When you open the card up, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you do not cut the outside edge right. because oh, you want it to pinch. The and through? then you can oh, that's cut all the way, way through. Oh, that's because I've done this. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it looks like this, and then when you yeah. open it up, yeah. it's a huge hole. Yeah, good. I like that. Let me get another one. I wanted to show you. I, I was working with some elementary kids one day, and I gave them this. One of the kids, it took him about two seconds. Really? He, he, he did. I didn't. It didn't look like that. But what mm -hmm. he did was, let's um, see, see if I can do what he did. He cut a spiral. Yeah. This is what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. then you have to think that. Mm -hmm. you know? So what do you do then? Mm -hmm. So you cut a spiral, and I'm not mm -hmm. as efficient right. as he was. How did he make it work? I have to practice this. He's not at my team? He might be now. <laughs> but... Um, well, this was for academically gifted kids, oh, so it wasn't okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know I'm yeah. just going to make it a closed loop. Yeah. That's, that's All right. Oh, so, he cuts another line into and it. And then, oh, that way. Yeah. Oh, oh so he it. Yeah. And then, yeah, so uh, cut the light bulb went smart. off. Yeah. Oh, and that. then, cut. Yeah, all the way through. Yeah. All the way back again, yeah. and I'm not sure I can. Oh, that's successfully good. do that. So he can imagine. Mm -hmm. that he yeah, that's pretty amazing. Cut that again, and you all show up. Right, right, right. But we know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, I thought. So we knew the spiral, yeah. looks like I said, it would make it long, but I didn't mm -hmm. know how to make the inside mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it Just cut yeah. halfway through and. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what age was this child? I'm just about eight. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, he's going to grow up to, I don't know, cure yeah, cancer or something. <laughs> Hopefully. But, but they only can do what they say inside the box. Yeah, you're always going to be. Well, that's, that's all you have to think outside. All right. Does everybody have a writing pen? Mm-hmm. Good. 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 Good
didn't bring them on. So like a, you know, uh, you know, no, no, no. Oh, 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 always. Oh, always. Oh, always. Oh, always. Hey. <laughs> All right. What I want you to do is on your paper, I want you to draw a circle and a dot without lifting your pencil. A circle and a dot without lifting your pencil. I gave but you nothing like a two pages. I gave you two pages, so in case you mess up, uh, okay. three. Right, you yeah. have You make a circle and then you just put your. Then that point. What if we have two pins? <laughs> oh, no. Put your no, you may not use two pens or pencils. Use one pen or pencil, one piece of paper, draw a circle and a dot. Is it perfect, though? Well, but the, uh, close enough. So it just, it's just. I can draw a circle, but it's just perfect. Yeah, I think about this a little bit. But she's very I gave you an extra just oh, in case you mess up. What if you want to use this as a measuring device? <laughs> <laughs> I really got me chill. I really want to try this. <laughs> but we can fold our paper or do whatever we want to it. Whatever you want. I have to do this circle, so I don't want to be random. Is it okay if we have a radius? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a circle and a dot. No radius. Okay. Oh, no, certain radius. It has to look like what I put on the board. Circle and a dot. Oh, yeah. Well, mine is not a perfect circle. So. But it doesn't have to be straight while you do it, right? I mean, you can fold it. You can fold the paper. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I think you may just get free. Circle's not very pretty. Oh. But there it is. Oh. Hmm. Now, now why, why, did? Why, did you, why did that work? So you float out from there. I float out onto the folded yeah. portion. And then I lift that up and make my circle from there. Yeah. See, fold it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make your make dot. Good well, oh, you're just saying to get the dot and then the circle. And then the circle. There you get the dot and the circle. Yeah. But it's still not a, a super, uh -huh. well, super 
I am not a good circle crawler. Okay. Okay. Work. Oh, I mean, it does work. <laughs> now, you know this. I'm not going to be able to do this on the board because I can't pull on the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. can't but I was just to get the center. Okay. Now, this is my favorite, but I do need some assistance with this one. Yes. Yep. Up here. <laughs> I have an assignment for you. Uh -oh. So I can eat the bananas? Oh, well, I thought you were going to get to peel the banana, and then I'm going to use it for something else. So what I want you to do is, is to peel it. Now, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I just want you, all you have to do is peel it. All the way. All the way. Mm -hmm. I put circles in it. <laughs> actually, yeah. I, all I wanted him to do was peel it. Oh. What did he actually do? Broke it into four. He pieces. sliced it. Well, right? Uh, I don't know. How did you do that? <laughs> so there were oh, slices. He, he, uh, all I that. asked was to have it peeled, but mm -hmm. as he peeled it, it came out sliced. I have some paper towels. Or something. But somebody did it before. <laughs> somebody did it before. It was oh. Somebody oh. was me. So I'll show you how I did it. Oh, and and this is. Oh, oh that's oh, that's that's a puzzle. That is yeah. magic. That is. <laughs> yeah, that's what our life is. And like I said, this yeah. is my favorite because. <laughs> Um, elementary kids particularly love this, so I wanted to show you oh. how to slice a banana before you peel it. So how many do they go through before they get it right? <laughs> well, after I showed my kids this, there was not a safe banana in the house for three weeks yeah. until they got it done. I'm using um, upholstery thread because it's a little thicker. Okay, but what I'm going to do is to go underneath the peel, but outside the banana. Okay, mm -hmm. and I usually put lemon juice on the outside, but I forgot my lemon juice today. So if you had looked at that one real carefully, you could have seen some places. But if you put lemon juice on the outside and on your needle, mm -hmm. it really won't show. Okay. Yeah, protect it from spoiling. Or right. Going okay. So what I'm going to do is take my needle, and I usually go around on the ribs as much as I can, and just go underneath, but between the peel and the banana, so that it looks like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I'm going to pull that through, but leave a little tail out here so I can hold on to the thread. Okay. Next, I go right back in that same hole and go another short distance between the peel and the banana and pull it all the way through. So you cannot see the thread at all at this point. Mm -hmm. Just continue going around, just slightly underneath the peel, and pulling it through. So what you're doing is you're putting that thread in between the banana and the peel all the way around. You know, the grocery store could make a mint if they could do the <laughs> pre-sliced banana. Okay, I'm continuing to hold the little end of the thread. I have to use that for something. Okay. I don't want to go a great distance around the banana because I, I need to stay outside the banana itself, but inside the peel. Okay. Here we go. And then one more small one. And then my last Stitch, I go right back out the hole that I first started in, okay, so that I now have the original tail and the new one and just grip both of those pieces of thread and just gently pull, okay, so that what we have done
See what we did? Yep. Okay. We peeled the, we sliced the banana. And the thread cut. And the, the thread, the upholstery thread is a little stronger, so you just very gently pull and it goes right through the banana. Okay. Questions? Yep. All right. Let's. Let's use the spring. You all have done real well and you've been real patient waiting to figure out what we're going to use the spring for. So take the string, put it out in front of you on the table. And just move everything else out of the way. Now, your assignment is to pick up the ends of the string and tie a regular knot in the string okay, without letting go of the ends of the string. You can't pass, you know, ordinarily you pass it and then loop it and pull it, right? All right, you can't do that. Once you pick up the ends of the string, you can't let go. I want you to tie a regular knot, and there can be no body part in the <laughs> knot. Okay? Okay. Go for it. You can't turn it loose. You can't pass it to your finger to finger. And you can't, you have a body part in there. No body part. All right, how did, show me how you did that. You can't pass it from finger to finger, so, and it has to be a regular knot. Okay, can you do it in front of the camera? <laughs> So what I did was like I just put my finger here, uh -huh. and then uh, I came all the way like I just made a circle, uh -huh. and then I just see roll it like this, and then. Uh, okay, but that is not a regular knot. Okay, it works, but it's not a regular knot. Okay. So try again. <laughs> there are many different types of knots. That's it. You can't pass pieces from finger to finger, though. You have to pick it up and put a knot in it. You got the best person. You got the best person. <laughs> Our star soon left. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, Yes, I'm glad I'm a camera person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? All right. <clears throat> this is another one that's called transfer of curve. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the knot in my arm first. So here... 
here and then tuck one under. All right, pick up the end. Then straighten out your arm. Oh. <laughs> Almost got it. All right, now straighten out your arm. And there's your knot. Right, can you do it? So you okay. Your arm. Oh, yeah. the, you knot your arm, this transfer of curve. Mm -hmm. All right. One arm on top, other arm on top, and then stick one underneath. And reach down and pick up the pieces of string. Then you can pull your hands out, and there's your knot. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got it. Good job. Good job. Okay, group, I think that's it. You all have been a, a, a good audience today. And, uh, oh, you, know, you learned something about math that you didn't know before. So let me see if there are any questions. Okay, sure. To me, one of the best things about topology is it makes you look at things in different directions. Mm -hmm. you know? well, I wonder, you know, that's sort of a life lesson. If you twist yourself into a knot and then transfer that knot out, out to whatever project you have. Maybe be the negative that you're doing. Well, okay, a couple of comments. I'm, yes. I'm going to show all these to my friends. That was unexpectedly interesting. Yeah, thank you. Thank I think you. It, another one said, really interesting, can't wait to amaze my grandson. Mm -hmm. And thank, thank her for making us think outside of the box. Okay, thank you. So, thank thank you, you so much. Cool. All right, well, let me stop the recording, and then I'll post it sometime later today or tomorrow, you know, a couple of days, and then it'll be archived, and you can always go back and visit. No, no, no. Never. 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 Never.